General Pipe Cleaner's Hot Shot Pipe Thawing Machines thaw frozen pipes fast. No more tearing up floors, breaking through walls, or digging up pipes in frozen ground. Eliminate hazardous blow torches and expensive repairs or damage. With the safe Hot Shot Pipe Thawer, you can accomplish the job faster and easier and save time and money. The Hot Shot passes low voltage, high current electricity through metal water pipes to quickly thaw frozen water lines. The Hot Shot heats the pipe just enough to melt a thin film of ice on the inside of the pipe. The warmer water above the ice will seep through the melted film and quickly melt the rest of the ice. Water should start to flow in as fast as 10 minutes. The Hot Shot 320, weighing in at just 30 pounds, generates 320 amps of thawing power, yet only draws 14 amps. This little unit can quickly thaw half inch to one and a half inch diameter pipes up to 100 feet long. The Hot Shot 400 clears longer and larger lines with 400 amps of power. It's powerful enough to clear half inch to one and a half inch diameter lines up to 175 feet long, yet weighs just 31 pounds. Stuck on a job with only a 15 amp breaker? The Hot Shot 400 features a high low switch to allow the unit to be used on either a 15 amp or 20 amp outlet. Just flip the switch to low and the amp draw drops below 14 amps while the unit still delivers 320 amps of thawing power. Both units are housed in heavy duty steel boxes built to take a pounding. Safety features like thermal overload protection and circuit breakers are standard. Standard units include two 20-foot cables with clamps. Longer and heavier gauge cables are available. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Hotshot Pipe Thawing Machines. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Hotshot can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached to the plug. Be sure the machine is plugged into a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. All grounds, including house electric service, telephone, and cable TV, must be disconnected before using the pipe thawing machine. Do not touch the clamps or cable connections while the unit is operating. Keep clamps away from combustible materials or articles that can be damaged by heat. Do not leave the unit unattended while thawing. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. The Hot Shot cannot thaw a frozen plastic pipe as plastic will not conduct electricity. For additional information about the proper operation of the Hot Shot, read the complete instruction manual. If you have questions, call the Drain Brains at General. There must be unfrozen water under standard water pressure upstream from the frozen section and an open faucet on the downstream side. To begin, isolate the frozen section of the pipe. Inside the house, open each faucet and backtrack the pipes until you identify the problem area. It will usually be on the outside walls, near doors and windows, or in crawl spaces under floors. If all the water outlets in the house fail to operate, the line from the curb valve to the house is frozen. If you connect to the curb service, make sure to connect to the valve at the bottom of the service riser using the curb key for a good connection to the pipe. Locate a section of the pipe upstream from the frozen pipe, often at the curb valve or in the basement. 
Place the hot shot in a dry area. Clean the pipe before connecting the cable clamp. A good electrical connection is required to thaw the pipe. Before making any connections, be sure the machine is unplugged. Connect the clamp to the clean pipe. Make sure the clamp is tight to prevent arcing. Loose clamps get hot and reduce current flow. Then, locate an exposed pipe downstream from the frozen section, often in the basement or under a sink, to complete the circuit. Be sure this pipe is clean as well. Then connect the other clamp securely to it. The cable clamps must be a minimum of 15 feet apart. Be sure all material touching or near the pipe, including insulation and pipe heating tape, has been removed as these could create a fire hazard. Keep the clamps away from combustible materials or articles that can be damaged by heat. Cables and clamp tips become hot during use. Connect the other end of the cables onto the terminals on the face of the unit. Then tighten the knobs or nuts firmly to secure them in place. Do not leave the cables coiled up or placed on steel objects where the efficiency will be reduced and thawing times will increase. When all connections are secure, plug the machine into a grounded outlet. Be sure the valve or faucet downstream from the frozen section is open. Then turn on the machine by switching the circuit breaker on. If a good connection has been made, the pipe and cables will vibrate with a 60 cycle hum that you can feel in your hand. If you are using the Hotshot 400, you have the option of using either 320 amps or 400 amps. The higher amp setting will reduce thawing times or assist thawing longer lines. If you do not have a 20 amp breaker available, flip the high-low switch to the low amp setting to draw only 14 amps. Monitor the equipment during the thawing operation. Keep in mind that no two thaws are alike. There are a lot of variables. For instance, thawing times will vary depending upon type of pipe, diameter, gauge, and length of cable. Copper pipe will not heat as fast as iron pipe, so allow 30% longer thawing times. Special thawing procedures may be required for hot water heating systems, baseboard systems, larger diameter pipes, and longer lengths of pipe. Two machines may be connected in series for longer lengths of pipe or parallel for large diameter pipes. For additional information about the proper operation of the hotshot, read the complete instruction manual. If you have questions, you can always call the drain brains at General. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.